There's no mistake. We have an official report to prove it. <coughs> but I don't see an address anywhere. An addressee. Same an addressee. thing. No, it's not. <laughs> According to this book that I wrote five seconds ago, it is. This letter was discovered in Ron Delight's apartment. And Mr. Delight did show up at the designated place and time. The fact that there's no addressee is irrelevant. Your and, face uh, is irrelevant. Uh, what's up, Nick? Uh. I just had a thought. What if that blackmail letter wasn't meant for Mr. Delight? Whoa, wait, do you have evidence of that? For some reason, I just can't shake the feeling that there's something not right, quite right about this blackmail letter. Well, everyone, are you quite satisfied? Where are we going with this? Uh, uh, uh. Um. Wait a minute. If you don't, I'll take that red diamond you received the other day instead. The red diamond. Whoa. Hmm. I don't know if we'll accept that, though. They won't. It's too logical. <laughs> Mind if I ask you a few questions, Detective at me? Well, it, if it's just a few, I guess it's all right. And you said that this letter was addressed to Ron Delight. I couldn't help but notice one major contradiction. Contradiction? I don't know where a walking contradiction like you gets off saying things like that. I know! Like, one minute he completely knows what he's talking about, and then the, ne the next, he doesn't know what to do at all. I'm going to show off of this. Want to talk? At times like these, men are made to express themselves with their fists. Um. Why don't you show us what you've got there, Junior? No! Indeed, it's done in and not necessary. Why? Why are you being so mean to Phoenix? Junior? He's not even yeah. the youngest one there, or the second youngest. It goes from oldest to the youngest, and the judge got out at me, Phoenix. Wait, actually. Actually, I don't know if got out or at me is older. So it's the judge, got out and at me, whichever order they're in. Phoenix. And then Ron and the Maya. So I don't know who he's calling Junior. Phoenix is like right in the middle in regards to like age. So, anyways. So, us, the contradiction evidence and the content of the blackmail letter. It's 
detective at me's hand. <laughs> no way they accept us. This? What was that voice? Uh, I don't know. It's <laughs> been all weird for a second. I don't know, because I was eating while trying to get unconfused. <laughs> It sounded like a voice you have never heard on this channel before. Does it? It did, actually. It was a brief second, but it did. Like we have never heard on this channel before? Probably. We probably might have. I don't know. Take a good look at this newspaper clipping. It contains a picture of the Tear of Eminon. The stolen jewel. Oh, I thought you meant a different. What? What about it? The problem is the jewel's color. Wait, what? Wait. I'm sorry, but if if you're saying that it's supposed to be red, I'm sorry, but if you're crying and it's and it's red, you should probably see a doctor. Why don't you say that? Huh? Why don't you say that? Say what? I don't know. Much for discussing color myself. Thank you. According to the uh, clipping, the color stink. of this stolen jewel was blue. However, in the blackmail letter, a totally different jewel is mentioned. I'll take that red diamond you received the other day. Wait, I thought this was... Wait, how long ago was this? I just assumed that it was a different... He stole multiple things. I assumed it was a different thing that he stole. Uh. I mean, I, like, I guess there aren't any other jewels in there, but... <laughs> Which means the red diamond described in the blackmail re letter is not the tear of Eminon that Masked Mask stole at all. Wait, people uh, thought it was? And your point is, Mr. Trite? So, are you trying to say the blackmail uh, letter was intended for someone else? That is what you're trying to say, right, Trite? This is what you're trying to say, right, right? Well, uh, that is what you're trying to say, right? The Nick? Nick doesn't rhyme with the right. Uh. Yes. <laughs> this is who Caden <laughs> Bullard was actually blackmailing. Naturally, it was you, Detective At Me. Do you have some sort of basis for that claim? You've been personally involved in every single Mask to Mask case. And in the last case, you recovered what was stolen and received a jewel as your reward. 
would drool. Probably the one wrapped conspicuously around your finger. That red diamond ring. Un -gun. That What was that? I don't know. That was that was the line. <laughs> Or at least my take on the line, which I thought yes. was exactly how he said it. Yeah, sure. That is the diamond referred to in the letter. Which means that Kane Bullard wrote that letter in order to blackmail you! Ah. Oh my, wow! It seems you've gone too far with your childish pranks, Mr. Trite. Oh, I don't like the way he said that. Kane Bullard blackmailing Luke at me. Are you for real? Then why are you still smoking and from your face? Y yes? His face is smoking. Oh my goodness. It, it, come on and stand up to him. Like he said, real men fight with their fists, apparently. Which means he's literally just asking for you to beat him up. That sounds highly illogical. Perfect for this courtroom. Exactly! Oh wait, no. That only works for me. I'll go beat him up. No, then you'll be put in jail. Oh wait, you wouldn't. That's... Doing that is irrational and... Perfectly fine. <laughs> But stand up to him. Then answer me this. The blackmail letter contains the following passage. If you don't want your identity revealed to the world. And, and also remember uh, who told us about the green envelope, Nick. You. Yeah. Who told us that the green envelope was important, causing me to get more burgers? Your sister. No. The number seven. Look at me! And why? Judge, read your line. Wait, why, why do you want me to look at you? Because... Yeah! It certainly <laughs> does look like a You lady. lost your chance! <laughs> Kane Bullard threatened to make Luca Tumi's identity public knowledge. Any identity uh... he wanted to keep secret. And identity. <coughs> so just what was that identity? Atme killed Kane Bullard because he was afraid of his secret becoming known. What was the identity he wanted to keep secret? Is what it all comes down to, Nick. No. The identity that Luke wanted to so desperately keep secret was his identity as... Why would he want to oh. keep his ace detective thing a secret? We just yeah, said hopefully. he wasn't the blackmailer. Unless... He was the blackmailer, and Kane was blackmailing the blackmailer! <sighs> this goes deeper than we thought. <laughs> no, 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 because he's already said he's an ace detective. He's already said he's masked a mask. What's the one thing he hasn't admitted to? <gasps> he blackmailed himself! <laughs> <laughs> Possibly. Either that or it's mask to mask. Uh. It's definitely not Ace Detective. Luke no, me. He's too proud of was that. a blackmailer. Hey now, isn't that a little different from what you've been saying? You said that Kane Bullard was the one blackmailing Luke at me. And you saying that at me was blackmailing someone else on top of that? 
Uh, you have to admit, that does sound a little odd. It's not odd. It's the only thing that makes any sense. It's also odd, Phoenix. <laughs> it can be it can be odd and still make sense. <laughs> Kane Bullard was blackmailing Luke at me. But Ron Delight was also being blackmailed by a certain someone. See what I mean? It's the only thing on the list that he didn't admit to. And also, according to Ron, in his, in Ron's testimony, he had been being blackmailed from his second heist on. And there, and, who could have figured out his identity? The person who- Hey, check it. <laughs> I mean, yeah, that, and... The person who found his outfit took it home with him and seemed to have an interest in Mask to Mask. Ew. But Ron Delight was also being blackmailed yes, by that, a certain that is someone. Correct, that part, so, did you. S wait, slah. So, did you start to receive the. Blackmail letters starting after this incident? Yes, just a few days after that tier of Eminon heist. After that, I started getting the plans in the mail. I received plans from a very kind person. Incredibly detailed plans. Detailed plans! In which case, that is what we are claiming. Someone else came up with the plans and had Mr. Delight steal his targets for him. And that someone was none other than Luke at me. Shh! Silence! <laughs> now I see it's all becoming clear. What is? When you were in grade school, you received the same report card every year. Careless, with the tendency to jump to conclusions. Am I wrong? Uh, how did you? <laughs> Wait a minute. Plot twist. What? Before the detective at me was a detective, he was a teacher. Ah! Oh no. <laughs> that would explain that would explain the lack of intelligence for Phoenix and Larry, but what about Edgeworth? Obviously Edgeworth is homeschooled. He just went to school because he was bored. No, he was in the class. Oh no, he he also got homeschooled. So Maybe after DL6, they pulled oh, him no, out of the class, no. and then something happened to their teacher, oh, wait, and then Luke was a better me, school was a better teacher who actually knew what they were doing. After DL6, he left the school, so that's why. Oh yeah, that makes that, that, that makes a ton more sense. Yes. You say that I, wait, look at me, minute. was blackmailing wait, wait, from delight. What? In which case, I would naturally know all about his relation to Mask to Mask. Wait, well, that would make yes. a lot of sense. And it's not that, but that would also mean that it's not Phoenix's fault mm -hmm. that he jumped to conclusions. It's his teacher's fault because the entire class jumped to conclusions. Yeah. Remember that story about the money? True. Ron Delight started receiving plans from his second crime onward, correct? Yeah, wait. Phoenix jumps to conclusions, and yet you're all just like, well, he must have stolen all of the money. Hey, 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 at me. At, at me. Someone must have stole your intelligence. Oh, wait, they couldn't. There was nothing to steal. Ha. Ah. I can testify to that. I tried to steal his intelligence. I got nothing yeah. out of it. Was it a worthless effort? 
No, he's not that e e he's not that hard to fool into giving you information. We're going to end it here. Uh, thanks for watching, Pharaoh. Pharaoh. <laughs>